Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today's Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. Today we're going to recap um, NHL and college basketball and look ahead to tonight's game to new sport. We'll have soccer, golf, NBA power rankings with the league returning tonight, Mass Singer, News and Notes, Best Bet. We're starting with NBA today. Um, it's the return of the NBA um, after its all-star break. Um, should be a lot of fun. Um, we have nine games tonight. First up, seven o'clock, you have the Nuggets and the Cavs. My line is Cleveland four and a half, total 223 and 1720s. And we have here Cavs by two and a half total, two twenty three and a half. Um, I'm gonna lay the two and a half with Cleveland, believe it or not. Um, Celtics Pacers. My line is um Boston by five and a quarter total, two thirty and three fifths, and it is eight and two thirty two. I like Indiana getting the points at home. Um, Pistons Magic by line is the Magic by seven half total two twenty eight and two fifths and it's seven and two twenty seven. Um, very close. Slight overs the pick. Seven thirty, TNT Grizzlies Sixers game of the night in my opinion. Uh, my line is Sixers by six total two twenty six and three fifths and it's three and a half and two twenty nine half. That's low and. I have a two and a half point edge on the Sixers, and I have an almost three point edge on the under. So the pick here is going to be the under. Pelicans Raptors minus Toronto by seven total two twenty seven and a tenth, and it's five and a half and two twenty six. Um, I'm going to do a slight lean to the Raptors. 8.30, Spurs Mavs. My line is Dallas by 14 and a quarter, total 2.30 and a quarter. And it's 14 and 2.37, under. Next up, Thunder Jazz at 9. My line is Utah by 1 and 3 quarters, total 2.34 and 9 twentieths. And it's Thunder by 1, total 2.40. Um, give me the under there. 10 o'clock, TNT, Warriors, Lakers. We'll see if LeBron and AD are back for this one with them in the lineup. I have the Lakers by 12 and a quarter, total 236 and 320ths. If they're not playing tonight, that line is going to drop significantly in terms of uh, my projection. Um. So, say if one of them or neither isn't the play, uh, Golden State would be favored in the spot if neither of them played because they're both questionable. It'd be Golden State by three quarters, and if one of them missed the game, it would be Lakers five and three quarters. So it's five and a half and two thirty eight and a half. So at the moment, I'd lay five and a half with the Lakers because it looks like both of them are going to play. And Blazers Kings, my line is Kings ten and a quarter, so two thirty three and three tenths at its six and a half and two forty and a half on there. All right, now I'll move on to hockey. We'll go over the results. From yesterday and look ahead to the games being played tonight. Um, Isles over the Jets 2-1. Flames over the Coyotes 6-3. And the Blackhawks upset the Stars 4-3. Alright, big hockey window tonight. Um, looks like 10 games. Um, 7 o'clock you have the Wild and the Jackets. Um, Minnesota is... Um, Hmm. 
Why isn't that this line posted? The Wild in Columbus. Let's see if DraftKings has it. Um, because um, I think it's nuts that some of these lines aren't out. Um, yes. Wild minus 190, Columbus plus 160, over under 6, over receiving money, under minus 120, wild minus 1 half is plus 140, Columbus plus 1 half is minus 165. Um, for this one, I'm going to go with the wild. Oh, wow, wild in regulation is overpriced. So I'm going to go wild puck line, minus 1 half is plus 140. Rangers, Red Wings. Oh, this one's on FanDuel. Um... Rangers minus 172, Red Wings plus 142, over under 6, overs minus 118, unders minus 104. Rangers minus 1F is plus 146, Red Wings plus 1F is minus 180. I think this is a bounce back spot for New York. Give me the Rangers on the road in regulation at minus 102. Kings, Devils. This is a good one from Jersey. Um, Devils minus 140, Kings plus 116, over under 6 and a half, overs minus 102, unders minus 120. Kings plus 1F is minus 215, Devils minus 1F is plus 168. Um, I like the over in this game. Um, Oilers, Pens. Um, this is a good one. Um, Oilers minus 106, Pens minus 113, over under 7. Overs minus 118, unders minus 104. Um, Oilers plus 1F, or minus 1F is plus 186. Pens plus 1F is minus 235. Makes no sense that the Oilers are favored on the puck line, but the Pens are favored on the money line. Um. This is a tough one. Um, I am going to go with the Pittsburgh Penguins at home in a must-win spot at minus 113. Sabres Lightning. Um, Lightning minus 215. Sabres plus 176. Over under 7. Overs plus 106. Unders minus 130. Sabres plus 1F is minus 132. Lightning minus 1F is plus 108. Lightning puck lines the pick. Ducks capitals, caps minus three fifteen. Ducks plus two fifty over under six. Overs minus one fifteen. Unders minus one hundred five. Ducks plus one half is minus one hundred two. Caps minus one half is plus one twenty. I love the over in that one. Um, Canucks blues, blues minus one twenty. Canucks even money over under six and a half. Overs minus one thirty. Unders minus one hundred six. Canucks plus one half is two minus two thirty five. Blues minus one half is plus one eighty six. Um, this is a tough one, but this is, I think, going to be an overtime game. So I'm going to go plus 330 for the tie. ESPN tonight, Flames, Golden Knights. It's a good game. Vegas minus 130, Flames plus 18 over on their 6 and a half. Overs minus 104, and there's minus 118. Flames plus 1 half is minus 225. Vegas minus 1 half is plus 180. Um, I like the over there too, um. Bruins, Kraken. Bruins minus 176. Kraken plus 146. Over under 6. Over is minus 104. And there's minus 120. Bruins minus 1F is plus 138. Kraken plus 1F is minus 170. Um, the Kraken beat the Bruins earlier in the year in Boston. You'd think the Bruins have revenge on their mind, I'd say. So I'm going Bruins in regulation at minus 111. Last but not least, 10-30 Preds, Sharks. Preds minus 125, Sharks plus 104 over under 6. Overs minus 120, Unders minus 102. Preds minus 1 off is plus 198. Sharks plus 1 off is minus 250. Um, I like the under 6 at minus 102 in that one. All right, on the college basketball, we'll go over the results from yesterday's heavy window and look ahead to a good window for tonight, but... um. Just like I'd say, yesterday's was busier. Um, Bellarmine beats Jacksonville sixty three sixty one. BU beats Army seventy three sixty seven. UMass Lowell beats UMBC seventy five seventy. Number eighteen UConn beats number twenty Providence eighty seven sixty nine. UNC Asheville beats Charleston Southern eighty sixty two. BC beats number six Virginia sixty three forty eight. Lehigh beats Bucknell seventy eight sixty two. Cincinnati beats Temple eighty eight eighty three in overtime. South Florida beats UCF eighty two seventy five. Colgate beats Lafayette seventy three sixty nine. 
Loyola Maryland beats Holy Cross 90-68. Bradley beats Valpo 76-66. Clemson beats Syracuse 91-73. New Hampshire beats Maine 74-62. Bryant beats NGIT 79-78. Vermont beats Binghamton 81-70. Navy beats American 70-54. Maryland beats Minnesota 88-70. LSU beats Vandy 84-77. Kentucky beats Florida 82-74. Davidson beats St. Bonaventure 74-61. George Washington beats Rhode Island 89-80 in overtime. Duquesne beats LaSalle 91-74. Dayton beats UMass 72-54. SCF State beats Presbyterian 59-57. High Point beats Radford 69-64. Winthrop beats Campbell 95-93 in overtime. Sanford beats Chattanooga 75-70. East Tennessee State beats The Citadel 78-70. Furman beats Mercer 70-67. UNC Greensboro beats UNC. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Western Carolina 71-52. VMI beats Wofford, 87-83 in overtime. Old Dominion beats Southern Miss, 69-64. Marshall beats James Madison, 92-83. Georgia Southern beats Coastal Carolina, 76-68. App State beats Georgia State, 78-52. Liberty beats Queens, 85-77. Stetson beats Austin P 76-51. North Florida beats Eastern Kentucky, 77-64. Lipscomb beats Florida Gulf Coast, 73-64. Kennesaw State beats North Alabama, 79-66. Belmont beats Indiana State, 89-88. Troy beats Yale Monroe, 82-78 in overtime. Southern Illinois beats Northern Iowa, 86-63. UIC beats Evansville, 82-76. Drake beats Illinois State, 82-51. Stephen F. Austin beats Abilene Christian, 91-89 in double overtime. South Alabama beats Texas State, 76-67. Jacksonville State beats Central Arkansas, 101-71. Butler beats DePaul, 59-58. Louisiana beats Arkansas State, 85-74. Warren State beats Eastern Illinois, 69-63. Number one, Houston beats Tulane, 89-59. Number two, Alabama beats South Carolina, 78-71 in overtime. Or 76, my bad. NC State beats Wake, 90-74. North Carolina beats Notre Dame, 63-59 in the game they absolutely had the half. St. John's beats Georgetown, 79-70. Wisconsin beats Iowa, 64-52. Auburn beats Ole Miss, 78-74. Florida beats Loyola, Chicago, 71-69. And Boise beats New Mexico, 82-77. All right, busy day today. It's 12 o'clock. You have Western Illinois and North Dakota. Um, I have projected Western 3.7 to the 144 and 15 20ths. And we have North Dakota 3.5 to the 146 and a half. I'm going to take Western plus 3.5 and plus 132. Fox Sports won 630 Penn State, Ohio State, Miami, Ohio State by two total, 142 and a tenth. And we got one and a half and 142 and a half. Very close. So the slightest of leans to Ohio State. ESPN 2, 7 o'clock, Memphis and Wichita. My line is Memphis 6.7, total 145 and a fifth. And it's two and a half and 147 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay the two and a half with Memphis. UTSA FAU, my line is FAU 21.7, total 144. And we got here 18.5 and 147.5. Um, hmm. Under. UTEP FIU, mine's FIU 3.8, total 139.5. And it's UTEP 1 half, total 136.5. Give me FIU plus 1 half and minus 104. North Texas, Charlotte. My line is North Texas 7.8, total 124 and 11 twentieths. And it's 2.5 and, and 110.5. And Woo, these are low. Um, 110.5 is the lowest total I've ever seen. Over. Longwood Gardner Webb ESPNU. My line is Longwood 1.8 total 134 and three quarters. And we have Gardner Webb 2.5 total 128 and a half. Um, over. Stonehill Wagner. My line's Wagner 6.8 total 131. And. 7 twentieths, and we have three and a half and one twenty two and a half. Um, over St. Fran Brooklyn and Sacred Heart. 
my line is Sacred Heart 5.3 to the 136 and a tenth. And it's six and a half and one thirty four and a half. Um slight over. Fairly Dickinson and St. Fran PA. I have here St. Fran PA two, total one fifty and two fifths. And we got Fairly Dickinson one and a half, total one fifty six and a half. I didn't expect to see Fairly Dickinson favor. Give me the under. Um, Central Con and Merrimack. My line is Merrimack 9.3, total 129 and 4 fifths. And it's 4.5 and, and 124.5. Um, very close projections here. So it's like 5.3 and 4.2. So I'll take the over. Wright State, Oakland. I have. A pick 'em and one fifty two and nine twentieths. And it's right state one half total one fifty five and a half on their Northern Kentucky Detroit. I have Northern Kentucky by four total one forty one and four fits. And it's one and a half and one thirty nine and a half. Um I'm gonna lay the one and a half with Northern Kentucky. Elon and William and Mary. My line's William and Mary seven point three total one thirty seven and a tenth. And it's one half and one thirty five and a half. Um, we'll lay the one half of William and Mary. CBS Sports Network Towson Charleston. My line's Charleston six point two total one forty three and seven tenths. And it's eight and a half and one forty nine and a half. Um, under. Delaware NCAT. My line is Delaware five point five total one forty two and a quarter. And it's two and a half and one forty eight and a half um, under. Monmouth Hampton, my line's Hampton point eight total one thirty nine and seventeen twentieths, and it's two and a half and one thirty nine and a half. Um, slight lean Monmouth. Stony Brook and UNC Wilmington, my line's Wilmington fourteen point eight total one thirty one and a quarter. And it's ten and a half and one twenty six and a half. Um, over. Northeastern Drexel. My line is Drexel seven point three total one thirty three and three tenths. And it's six and a half and one twenty nine and a half. Um, I'll take the over. Seven thirty Rice UAB. My line's UAB eight and a half total one. 53 and 2 fifths. And it's 12 and a half and 159 and a half under. Utah Tech and Texas Rio Grande. My line is Rio Grande 4.5 total 151 and 3 quarters. And it's Tech 1 and a half total 153 and a half. Give me Grand Valley plus 1 half and even money to win. Cal Baptist and Sam Houston. My line is. Sam Houston five point seven total one thirty two and three tenths, and it's five and a half and one twenty seven half over. Robert Morris IUPY my lines, Robert Morris eight point eight total one thirty eight and nine tenths, and it's ten and a half and one thirty four and a half um over. Eight o'clock Nichols New Orleans my line is. Nichols by three total one fifty and two fits. And we have. Five and a half and one fifty two and a half. I'll take New Orleans getting the points. Southeast Louisiana and Lamar. My line is Southeast four point eight total one forty seven a quarter. And it's five and a half and one forty six and a half. Um very close projections. It's like point seven. And three quarters, so slight over. McNeese, Houston Christian. My line is Houston Christian three and a half total one fifty one and seven tenths. And it's McNeese one and a half total one fifty six and a half. Um so I'm gonna take Houston Christian plus one half and minus one oh five to win. 
Southern Utah and Texas Arlington Midlands. Southern 5.3 to 142.17 and 20 it's And it's 5.5 and, and 144.5. And um, I'll take a slight under. Utah Valley and Tarleton. My line is Valley 6.3 total 139 and 13.20. And it's 3.5 and, and 136.5. And um, I'll take the over. St. Thomas, North Dakota State. My line is North Dakota State 2.8 total 145. And it's 3.5 and 147.5 and under. Oral Roberts, South Dakota. My line is Oral's 10.7 total 147 and 17 20ths. And it's 13.5 and 153 and a half. I'll gladly take the under. UMKC and South Dakota State. My line is South Dakota State 11.7 total 137 and a fifth. And it's 10.5 and 135 and a half. Um, I'll take a slate over. Little Rock and SIU Edwardsville. My line's Edwardsville 8.7, total 149 and three quarters. And it's eight and a half and 153 and a half. I'll take the under. 8.30 AM Corpus Christi hosting AM Commerce. My line's Corpus Christi 12.3, total 145 and 19 20 And it's 10.5 and 143 and a half. Um, we'll take the over. Northwestern State Incarnate Word. My line is Northwestern State 6.8, total 145. And it's 5.5 and, and 143.5. And um, slight over. Fox Sports 1, Michigan Rutgers. My line's Rutgers 1.8, total 136. And... Three twentieths at its five and a half and one thirty four and a half. I'm gonna take Michigan getting the points. Tennessee Tech and Southern Indiana and Southern three point three to one forty nine and two fits and it's five and a half and one forty seven and a half. We'll take Tech plus the points. Purdue Fort Wayne. And Milwaukee, my line is Milwaukee 1.3 to 145 and 17 20 And it's 2.5 and, and 149.5. And I'll take the under. 9 o'clock, Big Ten Network, number 21, Northwestern and Illinois. My line's Illinois by 6 to 135 and 2 fits. And it's 5.5 and 135.5. And and oh my God, so close. Slight lean to Indiana, or Illinois. La Tech, Western Kentucky, CBS Sports Network. My line is. Western 5.2 to 143 and 11 twentieths, and we got four and a half and 142 and a half. So very close again, so slight over. USC Colorado, ESPN 2, my line is USC four and a half total 138 and a fifth. And it's Colorado two and a half total 140 and a half. That's ridiculous. Or is it Vegas knows? But absolutely ridiculous. Give me SC plus the two and a half and plus 115. They should not be an underdog in this game against Colorado. Pac-12 Network, Washington, Cal. My line is um, Washington, 7.7 total, 133 and 11.20. And it's 8.5 eight, eight and, and 130.5. And um, I'll take the over. Tennessee State and Tennessee Martin on ESPNU. My line is Martin, 4.7 total, 151 and 7.20. And it's four and a half and one fifty eight and a half under. Southeast Missouri State and Lindenwood. My line is Southeast Missouri State six point three total, one forty five and seventeen twentieths, and it's four and a half and one forty five and a half. I'll do a slight lean towards Southeast Missouri State. Cleveland State and Green Bay. My line is Cleveland State twelve point seven total and three seven and a fifth. And we have here 13 half and 134 and a half um, over. Sac State, Montana State. My line is Montana State by 14 to 135 and three fits. And it's nine and a half and 128 and a half. Um, 
I'll take the over. Portland State, Montana. My line's Montana, 10.3, 244 and a quarter. Or I'm sorry, and a 20th. I read that wrong. And it's 6.5 and, and 145.5. And I'll lay the 6.5 of Montana. Idaho, Idaho State. My line's State by 2, total 143 and 3 tenths. And it's 3.5 and, and 138.5. And I'll take the over. Eastern Washington and Weber State. My line is Eastern by 1.7, total 139 and a fifth. And it's one and a half and one forty and a half. Um, slight under. Ten o'clock Pacific at number fifteen St. Mary's. Mine St. Mary's eighteen point seven total one forty two. And eleven twentieths. And we have eighteen and a half and one thirty seven and a half. Over. Pepperdine Santa Clara. My line is Santa Clara 15, total on 40, or 54 and 9 tenths. And it's 10 and a half and 163 and a half. Um, I'll take the under. Long Beach State and UC Santa Barbara. My line is Santa Barbara 8.7, total on 42 and 2 fits. And it's 4 and a half and 147 and a half. Um, Ooh. That's a tough one. I'll take the under. Bakersfield Northridge. My line is Bakersfield 2.8, total 28 and 4 fits. And it is 1 half and 125 and a half. Um, and uh, 1 half in favor of Northridge. So. We will take Bakersfield plus the one half and minus 102. UC San Diego and UC Irvine. My line is Irvine 17.3, total 139 and 9 twentieths. And it's 13 and a half and 139 and a half. I'll lay the points at Irvine. 11 o'clock, Fox Sports 1. Number 4, UCLA and Utah. My line is UCLA 6.3, total 133 and a tenth. And it's seven half and one thirty one and a half. Um, I'll take a slight over. San Diego number twelve Gonzaga ESPN two violence Gonzaga seventeen point seven total one fifty nine and seven tenths and it's twenty two and a half and one sixty four and a half. Um. So we have a four point eight point edge on the under. And the same number, literally exact number edge on San Diego. At gunpoint, I'll take the under. Wazoo Stanford, Pac-12 Network, but it's Stanford by a half to 134 and three quarters. And it is one and a half and 134 and a half. Um, so slightly the Wazoo would be the pick. Portland, San Francisco, CBS Sports Network, by San Fran by 8, total on 50 and 17 twentieths. And a 7 half and 152 and a half. Um, hmm. I will go with the slide on there. And last but not least, UC Riverside, Hawaii at midnight. Mine's Hawaii, 6 and a half, total 135 and a half. And it's 3 and a half and 132 and a half. So again, same distance. So three points each way. But I'm going to go with the over. All right, now I'll move on to soccer. That was a long college basketball segment again because it's been very busy. It's very busy tomorrow too because of the uh, conference tournaments getting underway next week. But soccer hasn't been very busy Um We'll go over everything. Um, we'll actually start with the She Believes tournament. Um, so yesterday, um, U.S. beat Brazil 2-1. 
and Japan beat Canada 3-0. Um, so we don't know when the next games are yet, but we'll get it to you as soon as I know. So, um, we are going to start with, um, the UEFA Europe League playoffs. Um, this is a, we, something we forgot to touch on, on the show on Tuesday, but the knockout round started. For the UEFA Europe League. Um, so results from the 16th. Ajax, Union, Berlin, 0-0. Draw, Barcelona, Man United, 2-2 draw. Shakhtar over Rennes, 2-1. FC Salzburg over AS Roma, 1-0. Monaco over Leverkusen, 3-2. Juventus over Nantes. I'm sorry, that's a 1-1 draw. Sevilla, PSV. Uh, Sevilla wins 3-0. And Sporting and Michelin, 1-1 draw. All right, today, 12.45, you have Monaco and... Leverkusen. Um, AS Monaco leads 3 2 on aggregate. Um, so, Monaco minus 430, Leverkusen plus 330. But um, the money line, um, Monaco plus 120, Leverkusen plus 210, draw plus 250. Um, Monaco's been on fire. I'm taking a plus 120. Magellan and Sporting. Um, sporting minus 125. Um, Magellan plus 340, draw plus 240. Um, this feels like a draw to me at plus 240. Um, PSV and Sevilla. Sevilla's a huge minus. Um, oh, they're 2,200 to win, just to win. But um, the 90 minutes, they're minus 105. PSV's plus 270, draw plus 260. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, PSV at minus 105. Or that would be Sevilla. But that's weird. It says the PSV money line's minus 105. But wagers covers both legs and extra time penalties if required. Oh, that's a. I would go Sevilla plus two seventy. I think that's a messed up line. Um, Nantes and Juventus. Um, Juventus is minus two seventy or two sixty five. Nantes plus two ten, and then Juventus minus one forty. Nantes plus three ninety. Draw plus two forty. Um, I'm going to go over two and a half goals by plus 132. Um, three o'clock, AS Roma and FC Salzburg. Um, Roma minus 155, Salzburg 440, draw 260. Um, oh, so these are pretty much series in a way, because to win the series, one team's a monster favorite, but they're a dog in the game that I, um, so this is what makes it fun. I'm going to go with Salzburg at 440. And by the way, um, Michelin and Sporting tied on arrogant. Sevilla's up 3-1 or 3-0. 
Nantes and Juventus tied, and FC Salzburg leads one on aggregate over AS Roma. Um, Rant and Shakhtar, um, Shakhtar leads two on on aggregate. Um, they're minus one twenty two favorite to qualify for the next round, and Rant is even money. Um. But for the game, um, Rens is minus one sixty five. Shock Tars plus four ten. Drop plus um two ninety. Um, I'm gonna go Shock Tar plus four ten. Union Berlin and Ajax. Um, they're tied on aggregate. Um. Berlin's minus 144. Ajax is plus 118. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Ajax here, plus 230. And then Man United and Barcelona. Um, This is a good one. Man United is plus... Or, I'm sorry, minus 160 to advance, and Barcelona's plus 130. And then for today, um, Man United plus 115, Barcelona plus 230, draw plus 230. I'm going to go with Man United at plus 115 for today. Um, and then the UEFA Europa Conference League. Um, Results from the first leg. Um, FK Quarabog over um, KAA Gent 1 0. Fiorentina over Braga 4 0. Trebzonspor over FC Basel 1 0. Bodo Glimt and Lech Ponzen 0 0 draw. AEK Larnasa over Zanipro 1 1 0. Lazio over CFR Kluge 1 0. Little Goritz over Andrelect 1 0, and FK Partizan over Sheriff 1 0. Um, all right, 12 FK Partizan and Sheriff. Um, so this is the second leg today. Um, um FK Partizan leads 1 0 on. Agarit. Um. So I'm trying to find. Um. Here we go. Um. Partisans minus one fifteen. Sheriff plus three seventy. Draw plus two twenty. I'm gonna go with um. Partizan minus 115. Tanipro 1 and AEK Larnaca. Um, Tanipro 1 plus 105. Larnaca plus 260. Drop plus 220. I don't like how Tanipro is playing. I'm going to go with the draw plus 220. And uh, Larnaca's 1 0 on. Aggregate. Anderlecht and Ludo Goritz. Ludo Goritz leads 1 0 on aggregate. Um, Anderlecht's minus 120. Ludo Goritz is plus 310. Draw plus 260. I'm going to the draw plus 260. 1245 CFR Kluge and Lazio. Um, Lazio's minus 125, CFR's plus 420, and the draw's plus 220. I'm going to go with over two and a half goals at plus 154. Three o'clock, Fiorentina and Braga. Um, Fiorentina leads 4-0 on aggregate. Lazio 1-0, by the way, um. Fiorentina minus 160. Braga's plus 410. Draws 3 to 1. Braga's actually playing really 
good soccer of late. I like the draw at 3-1. to one. Lech, Ponsonen, and Bodo Glimt, they're tied on aggregate. Um, Lech, Ponsonen's plus 140, Bodo's plus 190, draw plus 220. Um, this is a hard one, too. We got the draw at plus 220. Um, FC Basel and Trabzonpor. Trabzonpor leads 1 0 on aggregate. Um, FC Basel plus 130. Trabzonpor 2 1. The draw plus 230. I'm going to go with Trabzonpor at 2 1. And KAA Gent. And FK Karabog. Karabog leads 1 0 on aggregate. Um, Gents minus 110. Karabog's plus 320. Draw plus 230. I'm going to go with um, Karabog at plus 320 to win here. All right, Mexican Liga from last night. Looking ahead to today, Cruz is all over at loss one 0 and then tonight we have Santos and Toluca. I know we had the big uh, UEFA Euro- Europa to talk about, so um, we had to get that out of the way. Um, Santos is even money. Toluca two twenty draw two eighty. Um, look at the draw at plus 280. All right, now we're just going to, uh, go rapid fire on everything else. UEFA, Inter Milan over FC Porto, 1-0. And RP Leipzig and Man City, 1-1 draw. So best bet lost again. So no UEFA Champions League until March 7th as the second leg will begin. Um so Spanish, German tomorrow, Italian Saturday, French League tomorrow. The English FA Cup's back next week for the fourth round. Um, so that's, um, pretty much it. And then the, uh, English, um, Carabao Cup is on Sunday. So we'll preview and pick that on the podcast for tomorrow. All right, now I'll move on to golf, um, I know soccer went a little longer than expected today because of the Europa stuff. Um, tournament's underway. Um, and then we'll go over to tea times for the afternoon session. Um, first place right now, four under, is Ben Taylor. Tied for second with two under. Um, Joseph Merlet, Tyler Duncan, Matt Trainer, Brian Matthews, and Jonathan Bird. Tied for seventh with one under. Ben Griffin, Bryce Garnett, Dylan Fertelli. Um, Ayu Kim, Mark Hubbard, Jason Duffner, Shane Lowry, Brett Horschel, Ryan O'Moore, Michael Gilgic, Esten Lizo Goya, Adrian Murnock, or Maroke, and Andrew Kozan. Tied for 20th at even. I'm just going to go through notables. Um, Charlie Hoffman, John Vegas. Adam Shank, Max McGreevy, Dylan Lingmurth, Scott Harrington, Andrew Novak. Tied for 39th and one over Sean O'Hare, Will Gordon, Substraka, Andrew Landry, Chad Raby, Grayson Higo, Robbie Shelton, excuse me, Ryan Palmer, Kevin Tway, Grayson Chalmers, Jason Hadley. Tied for 56 with two over Henrik Norlander, Davis Riley, Rory Sabatini, Taylor Alexander, Webb Simpson, Aaron Weiss. Hayden Buckley, Kyle Stanley, Nate Hardy, saying you'll know. Tied for 67th with three over. JT Potts and Joaquin Herman, Kramer Hickok, Ben Crane, Grayson Seagan, 
and 72nd and four versus Camilo Vegas. All right, 11.45, um, notable tee times. Um, Matt Wallace, Dylan McCarthy, Jimmy Walker. 11.56 tee times. Um, Lucas Hodges, Ben Martin, Sonny Kodiora, Scott Brown. 12.07 tee times. Peter Malnati, Cam Piercy. 12.18, Richie Wierenski, Robert Brem, Lucas Donald, Zach Johnson, Robert Streb. 12.29, Sun Jae-in, Adam Svetson, J.B. Holmes, Chris Kirk, Matt Kuchar, Adam Long. 12.40, Doc Redmond, Evan Van Royen, Cam Davis, Danny Willett, Russell Knox, Harry English. 12.51, Stefan Yaker, Christian Ziedenhout, Ryan Wirt, Kelly Kraft. 102, Callum Tarrant, Matthias Schwab, Taylor Pendrith, Alex Baddeley. 113, Ben Grant, Eric Cole, 124, MJ Doffe, um, 135, Eric Barnes, and then at 146, Carson Young and Samuel Stevens. All right, and I gave out my pick on the show yesterday. I gave out, um, oh my God, I forgot who I even gave out. I think I gave out, I know I didn't give out Sun J.M. He was like a huge favorite. And let's see here. Who did I give out here? Cam Davis. All right, now we'll do my NBA power rankings as the second half of the season will get underway tonight. Um, just a couple quick thoughts on each team. Um, number 30 is the San Antonio Spurs. Um, they're just tanking for Victor Wembanyama at this point. They're literally sitting their whole team. 29, the Houston Rockets, sort of same thing, except they have more... Um, they're more advanced in their development of their young players than the Spurs are. Number 28, the Detroit Pistons. Um, just a very disappointing season for them. And Bojan Bogdanovic is still on their roster for the time being. Number 27 is the Charlotte Hornets. They're awful. They didn't trade any of their veterans, which is crazy to me. Or I should say any of their higher priced veterans. Um, twenty six is the Orlando Magic. Um the Magic, um they're the best bad team in the league. Um they have a lot of good young talent. Um number twenty five is the Indiana Pacers. Um the Pacers um they're interesting. Obviously, um, Tyrese Halliburton coming back. Um, twenty four of the Portland Trailblazers. Um, they're in the mix in the West for the play ins. Number twenty three is the Chicago Bulls. They're just a hot mess, and they did nothing at the trade deadline. Twenty two is the Utah Jazz. They got one of those Laker picks in that trade that sent D'Angelo Russell from Minnesota to the Lakers. Um, number 18, the Oklahoma City Thunder. Um, they're going to be fun, and I'm excited to see if they end up making the uh, the play in or even the playoffs at this point. They're good. Um, number 17 is the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, I don't like their team without D'Angelo Russell. We'll see when Carl Towns comes back. 16, Atlanta Hawks. They fired Nate McMillan, and now it looks like they're talking to Quinn Snyder, which would be a good hire for that team. Snyder got a lot out of those Jazz teams and got them to perform over their heads. And once they got good, um, they were among one of the best teams in the NBA. Number 15, the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, they need Zion back in the worst way. They've been very disappointing. Um, number 14, the Golden State Warriors. Um, the Warriors need Steph back. They've been disappointing too, obviously. 
They trade away James Weissman. Number 13, the Brooklyn Nets. Um, this team's going to stay competitive in the second half of the year. Um, they got blown out by the Knicks before the All-Star break. But I just think that they ran out of gas in that game. Just as simple as that. Um, number 12, I have the Dallas Mavericks. Um, the addition of Kyrie, I think they're going to be fun to watch. Um, number 11, the Miami Heat. Um... The Heat have lost the weirdest games this season. The weirdest games. Number 10 is the New York Knicks. Who had the New York Knicks in the top 10 of the power rankings at this point of the season? I don't think anybody did. Jalen Brunson should have made the all-star team instead of some other guys that made it in the East. And you could argue even his own teammate, Julius Randle. But I think Randle... Should have made it. Um, number nine, the Los, or I'm sorry, the Sacramento Kings. I had hockey in my head for some reason. Um, I like this Kings team a lot. Disappointed that they didn't make a move at the deadline. No. Number eight, the Los Angeles Clippers. They seem to be rounding in the forum, but Russell Westbrook's in town. How does that dynamic work? Number seven, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Very disappointed that they did not make a trade at the deadline to improve the small forward position. I think that could hurt them. Six, the Memphis Grizzlies. This team has fallen apart. They're out of the top five. Um, ever since the Shannon Sharp incident in that Laker game, they've fallen apart. Number five, the Philadelphia 76ers. They're playing really well. Their team trending up. I think they can absolutely make a run in the East. Number four, the Phoenix Suns. This is solely based on the addition of Kevin Durant that they're this high. Um, he's going to be back potentially on Sunday in an ABC game against the Bucks, so that's exciting. Number three, the Boston Celtics. Um, they're still really good. I just don't like how they ended the first half of their season. Number two, the Denver Nuggets, Nikola Jokic and company. They're on a roll. And number one, the Milwaukee Bucks. I just think that because of the run they've been on of late, they deserve the top spot in the power rankings. They've won 12 straight. And if you win 12 straight, you should automatically be in the top five unless if you're like a bad team all right now we'll recap last night's episode of the mass singer um it was probably one of my favorite episodes of the show in a long time um so the theme was abba night um medusa went first there was more clues they were um there were colored trees. There was a true love with the heart. There's a photo of Chris Martin of Coldplay in there. Maybe there's some tie to Chris Martin. Um, they talk about getting colder. Um, this individual performed Dancing Queen. Um, absolutely sensational. Um, the celebrity clue, um, Nick Vial came out. There was a plane ticket. That said, first class, and in 1996, Tokyo. Um, 1996 could have been the year that this individual was born or the year that this person potentially became famous. Um, and maybe this person's toured in Tokyo or something, um. I'm sticking with my guest from last week, and I'm going to say it's Fergie. Um, it's funny. The vocals in Dancing Queen sounded a little bit like Lady Gaga. But the vocals in the Battle Royale song sounded like Fergie. And I got that big falsetto vibe of um, when she had that part in Boom Boom Pow. And with the black eyed peas. It reminded me of that a little bit. So I'm going to go Fergie. Um, Nicole went with Lord. Robin said Apple Martin. Who's the daughter of Chris Martin. And then Ken said Dakota Johnson. But there's an argument. That the Chris Martin clue. Um, there's a tie with Lady Gaga on him. Lady Gaga performed the national anthem. In the same Super Bowl as Coldplay. Did the halftime show. So there's your Lady Gaga argument. Um, but I'm trying to think of the tie between Coldplay and Fergie. Um, 
the night owl. Um, there was a disco ball. Um, she said she broke records at 17. There was a record with, um, with the Z's like they were sleeping. Um, she talks about, uh, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and Nicole Scherzinger. Um, about being pop princesses. Um, she talks about how she's an OG. She's a triple chat. She's been on Broadway. There was an LIT. There was a timer. And then she performed Fernando, which was awesome. The celebrity clue was bubblegum. And it's sweet and bubbly like her. And then Rock Lobster went last. Talks about being... Like, a go-go. Maybe this is someone that's been in the go-go bars. Um, says, all night long. Maybe there's a title, Lionel Richie, there. Um, been in movies and TV. Troublemaker, still a mess. There are some cards in there. He made a career of being uncomfortable. And then this person performed SOS. The celebrity clue, uh, Gable. And then the great judge of character... And this is the individual that went home first. My guess for Rock Lobster was Martin Short based on the voice. He sounded like Martin Short. It was obvious that he was a comedian. Talks about being in movies and on TV shows. Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live. Father of the Bride. So that's where I got the Martin Short thing from. Robin Thick said Steve-O. Jenny and Nicole both said Martin Short. Ken Jung said Howie Mandel. And who was it? The one and only Howie Mandel. Good for Ken. Instead of no, Ken, it's yes, Ken on this one. So first correct guess for Ken Jung of the season. Um, there is some hints that alluded to deal or no deal in there. Which made Ken think it was Howie. But I've always wanted Howie Mandel and the Mass Singer. So great get for this show. Battle Royale went Medusa versus Night Owl. And the contestants performed. The Winner Takes It All. Which I think is the best song of the ABBA soundtrack. Um, Medusa sang first Owl sang second and who moves on Medusa of course I think she's the front runner to win the competition I haven't seen anybody else yet and the Owl went home my guess for the Owl the Night Owl was Gwen Stefani Um, there was some time hints that could have referred to what you're waiting for and four in the morning Putting in herself with a group of Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and Nicole Scherzinger would make somebody think that it was somebody in that era, which Gwen is. She's been in movies. I think she's done Broadway too. Um, so that's what made me think of Gwen Stefani. Ken Jung said Sarah Jessica Parker. Robin said Kylie Minogue, which I liked that guess. Nicole said Belinda Carlisle. Jenny said Debbie Gibson. And it was indeed the latter Debbie Gibson. Um, I think I guessed Debbie Gibson in the past to be on this show. And I've picked her in the preseason once a while ago. Um, obviously, the record with the Z's is only in my dreams, her song. She... Was Sandy in Greece? So there's your Broadway and Triple Threat hit right there. Disco Balls referring to the eighties. Um, Debbie Gibson has also has a song called "Shake Your Love." She has some other songs as well. So, um, two really. Big time people and Debbie Gibson and Howie Mandel will uh, be on the show. All right, news and notes time. Um, 
this is going to be about as rapid fire as we can get. We talked about the Quinn Snyder thing for the Hawks. And they're also um, talking about Nate, um, not Nate McMillan, they just fired him. Um, Ime Adoku, the former Celtics coach. We talked about Kevin Durant potentially making his return on Sunday against the Bucks or next Wednesday against the Hornets. Um, this is a disastrous situation. Um, Brandon Miller remains on the team as he isn't considered a suspect in the murder case and will remain an active member of the team. This is a situation that could submarine a team. And he got heavily booed in that game against South Carolina, and a game which they should have lost. Um, Bronny James could be a top 10 pick. As he was mocked in the 2024 mock to go 10th to the Orlando Magic as he continues to make strides physically and skill-wise. Um, how about this? Patrick Kane could still go to the Rangers as he may still go there, but a trade would require serious maneuvering. Whew. If the Rangers land Patrick Kane, they better freaking go far. They better go to the final, if not win it. They'll have as much pressure on them as any New York team has in the past. Maybe other than the Kevin Durant Nets when they were all healthy before that blew up with James Harden. But you can make a case it's even more pressure than that. Because the Rangers are the hockey team in New York, like the Knicks are in basketball and the Yankees are in baseball. This isn't the Islanders. I know the Brooklyn Nets thing's a big fail. That's because it was Kevin Durant was involved, and he's one of the best 15 basketball players ever. Patrick Kane is one of the best hockey, will go down as one of the best players ever too. And he's pushing his way to the Rangers. I mean, if I'm the Rangers... um. If the price is as good as the Tarasenko one, then you do it. If they're asking for the moon and the stars, which I thought they were going to ask for, then maybe not. So we'll see about that. Jake Muzzin out for the season due to a cervical spine injury, just a brutal Lost from the Maple Leafs. Now they have to go out and get a defenseman at the trade deadline. And speaking of defenseman traded, um, the Senators trade Nikita Zaitsev to the Chicago Blackhawks along with a 2023 second rounder, a 2026 fourth rounder for future considerations. So the Blackhawks are gathering draft capital. Chine and Gumake re-signs with the Sparks. For the 2023 sister. And they're supposed to be bringing back her sister as well. Likely number one pick in 2024 draft. Caleb Williams likes the Dolphins. And also lists the 49ers, Raiders, and Falcons. As teams he'd like to play for one day. Hmm. A little interesting. Um, Aaron Rodgers ends his darkness retreat. As owner of Oregon Retreat Center. Confirms Rodgers left facility Wednesday. Amid uncertain NFL future. And at Netflix is the debut in NFL series featuring Patrick Mahomes, Kirk Cousins, and Marcus Mariota. A docu-series this summer called Quarterback. So we'll see how that goes. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, so... Um, there's a couple I had in mind. Um, I'm going to lay a quarter unit in hockey. I'm going to go with over six and a half in Flames Golden Knights. 
I'm going to lay a quarter unit on it. I just think that's a winner. It's on ESPN tonight, 9 o'clock. So over 6.5 at minus 104 for my best bet of the day between the Flames and the Golden Knights. All right, that's for the show. Monster Friday show tomorrow. A lot of college basketball tomorrow as well. Um, I might be back tonight with an MLS prediction show. If I don't get to it, then I'll do a big MLS segment on its own on tomorrow's podcast. Have a great day, everyone.